The advanced distance module is able to perform three different tests. The voltages and currents to be injected are automatically calculated based on the module settings and test points. The shot test is able to apply multiple test points to check zone reaches and trip times. As a result, the measured trip time will be displayed and a comparison of the nominal and actual values can be performed in the application of the relay tolerances. For example, we can check the trip times of each impedance zone for phase to ground faults. After choosing the fault type, there are two options available to add points to the table. You can either use the test point section to enter the coordinates in absolute values or relative to the nominal zone reaches, or right click on the impedance plane to add a test point of your choice. Although it is possible to simulate different fault types within the same test file, we strongly recommend that you use individual modules to test each fault type loop. In case the test fails, you can avoid an unnecessary repetition of those fault types that have been assessed as passed with a green cross. There is an option for quick check of test points without report or entry to the test table. Locate a test point in the impedance plane and press the single test button or select the shot at option by right clicking on the impedance plane. The check test is also meant to check the reaches and trip times, but with a slight modification. In this case, check lines are defined. Along these lines, the test module automatically places test shots outside the tolerance band whenever a line intersects with a tolerance border. Therefore, a positive assessment proves that the zone reach is within the tolerance band. Finally, the search test can determine the exact reach of the individual zones by applying several shots along a search line. Note that this test requires multiple test points to be applied in a sequence and might affect the performance of certain types of relays, for example, old electromechanical relays. Both check and search lines can be defined by the origin coordinates, the line angle, and the line length. The line length can be entered in absolute or relative values. However, an easier way to do this is by drawing the line directly on the impedance plane. For each zone, you should check the resistance, reactance, and line angle. This can be done by placing a line along the real axis to check the resistance settings. one line at 90 degrees to check the reactance settings, and one line parallel to the real axis to check the line angle. It is also advisable to place one additional line along the line angle to check the operating area of the relay. In any case, try to avoid corners. In addition to this, you can use the Sequence tool. Here, you can define a sequence of check or search lines for any fault type of your choice. All lines have a common origin point and the same angle step size. The number of lines depends on the start and end values as well as the angle step.